Nah, what up? What up? <laughs> I'm chilling today, right? Reflecting. Just really sitting back, looking at everything, you know, looking at the whole picture of everything. Trying to figure some things out over here and, 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 and see what's going on over here. Make sure everything in the middle is all right. You know what I mean? Um, no matter what we're going through, right? Because, you know, things change by the day. And I mean, all type of things change by the day. You just, you, you have, we have, we can even imagine the things that happen that go on in a day, right? In the spiritual realm and in the physical. Never stop praying for people, right? People you love, right? For the world, right? For your city, for your, for your state, your town, whatever. But especially for people you love, right? That may not necessarily love you, right? Or they are being influenced by something or some things or some people, okay? Never stop praying. I think most times we want our prayers <laughs> I'm guilty of this um, we want our prayers to work instantly right especially when we're playing when we're praying for other people right to be free to be released of things um, to be released of influences spiritual and physical right other people's influences in their ears and it takes time it takes time the day as the days go by people have to go through things right just like you and I have been through things right nothing happens overnight There's always forces coming against us on every side, right? There's so much going on at once in the spirit, okay? So much. I always tell people this, I, I picture the, you know, the spiritual realm like, I picture it as a highway, right? Picture like a freeway with exits, right? And those exits are connected to a person. Each person has a has an exit. That's this is how I picture it. Each person has an exit, right? That is their exit, right? And that highway is all of the spiritual things that are going on. All the spiritual things that are happening, information and everything, right? And the information that you receive, that right, it comes down your exit. It, it gets off on your exit and it comes to you, right? This is how I envision and picture the spiritual realm, right? And other ways too, but that's the main way. So it's like always some traffic. It's always traffic always moving there's always things going on okay and then they manifest here in the physical right now I've seen prayers work I have absolutely not just for not just for having to pertain with me but um, other people I have I've seen it right Prayer does change things. It shifts the atmosphere. Not just the one you're in, for, for, for all my timer, not just the one you're in, but in other places. Right? It doesn't matter if it's in, you're praying for somebody from over in Japan. Right? 
the spiritual realm, the distance isn't the same. You know what I'm saying? Because it's the spiritual realm. There's no time. There's no, you know, it's, it's just different, right? It takes time for prayers to, to, to take hold, right? To, to break through, to, to grab hold, right? So it's good to plant seeds in people. It's good to plant seeds, good seeds. Because you know what? They might not understand or hear what you're talking about right now, right? You might be talking to them or, you know, trying to tell them something or warn them something about something that's coming down the line. And they may not necessarily believe you, right? might feel a certain way about you or towards you and that's fine right that's fine and dandy yeah i said dandy <laughs> i don't know where it came from but that's fine and dandy maybe somebody talks like that that's listening to me uh but Better be, you best believe that the seeds that you've planted in those people, the seeds that you've planted, right? They will sprout. They will. God adds the increase. <clears throat> okay? You plant the seed, you water it, right? God will add the increase, okay? In his timing. In his timing. I don't know, I, right now I just got this overwhelming sense of peace. I believe somebody's coming to the realization of some things. There may be for this for specifically for someone. There may be someone coming closer to you again. Something may have changed in them, right? Or 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 started a change, started to change in them. And what I'm perceiving is there's people in the background that don't like that, that don't like it. And that are still trying to persuade and infiltrate. The, the, Satan's never going to like a good, a good thing coming together. Never. Ever. Ever. So he'll do everything in his power, in his limited power, right? To try to destroy that at every turn, right? One person might be weaker in their vessel than the other, right? I don't mean like weak as, you know, you, I mean, but in their vessel, they might be more easily persuaded to do negative things, okay? This is why prayer is good. This is why prayer, it, it works, it shifts things, right? Pray over those you love. Pray over those that, that you care about, right? Because just as well as you're being sought after, you're being sent attacks and, and, and curses and all of it, and juju and, and hoodoo, voodoo, all that. There's also people, the same people in the background doing the same thing to these people. If you just picture like 
Right? This is one person, this one person, right? Behind this person, there's somebody trying to control the narrative over here. Behind that person, there's somebody trying to control that narrative, right? And so on and so on. Toppling effect, it just it just goes on and on and on, right? People trying to control other people's lives from behind the scenes. when God is the author and finisher of our faith. So they can try all they want. Nothing going to control anything. Okay? Not under a child. Not a child of God. Not a chosen one of God. Right? Not a believer in Christ. And it just, and that doesn't have to be just a chosen one, right? Just a, a believer in, in Christ. Right? So, don't make this video too long. But, uh, keep praying for people, okay? One thing I do know is it's hard for people to confess the things that they're ashamed of. No matter, it might be easy for us to do easier for us to do why because we've been through those stages already and we you know we've got this boldness about us that you know we don't we don't care what people say about us we don't care what people think about us so it's easier for us to do that right but it's not so easier for other people to like you know maybe they want to tell you some certain things right but they're embarrassed, okay, about either what they took part in or what they allowed to go on and didn't say anything, which is the same thing, right? If you know somebody's doing something, especially if it's against somebody else that you know about, but you say, I'm just going to stay out of it, you're just as guilty as the ones that are doing it. So the same punishment is going to fall on you. Right, because you didn't stand up for what's right. You didn't you didn't you didn't stand up for what's right. Right. Which I've witnessed a lot of people that have done that in my life, right? They've allowed things to go on in the presence while that they're in the presence of and because they weren't doing it themselves, but they knew what was going on, they thought that you know, that was all right. No, not the case. If you know of something that is not right, that someone else is doing, that people are doing, and you don't stand up and do the right thing and say the right thing, right? Or are you still hanging in the presence of those people? You're guilty by association. We are who we hang around. That's real. We are who we hang around. So people just, people are guilty by association. A lot of people don't see it that way, but just because they don't see it that way does not mean that it's not true. Right? So, keep praying for people, right? But keep yourself safe, okay? Guard your heart. Guard it. With all diligence, guard your heart, okay? Because a lot of people's goal is to break your heart. To devastate your heart. To shake, rattle, and roll your damn heart on down the street kicking in, stomping on it and everything, right? So guard it. Guard it. With all diligence, guard your heart. All right? All right, that's all I got to say right now. <laughs> all right. I love y'all, man. I really do. 
I really do. I hope y'all have a good day today. Uh, I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm going to. No matter what, I don't care what happens. Uh, I'm gonna have a good day. All right, I am. And I know just because I said that, this ain't the damn. The enemy's gonna try. It's gonna try. That's all right. That's all right. I got something for him if you do. So I'm gonna sit here. Eat my mandarin oranges <laughs> and my applesauce. I love applesauce, man. That, that cinnamon can, mm, mm, mm. and I'm gonna chill out, right? All right, I love y'all, man. Be safe, uh, be attentive, and guard your heart. Pray continuously without ceasing, all right? And even fast for those that you love. Those that are harder than others to, to, to convince, to win over, fast for them. It works. Absolutely. All right. All right. Love y'all, man.